Welcome to another edition of Carbs here on Reckless Eating, the only show where I sit in a car and BS while consuming carbs. Mad Zion here, in the rain, going to do a new Slurpee review from 7-Eleven. This is the Fanta Sour Green Apple Slurpee. So Jeff Fu tried this a little while back. It's, it's fairly new, it's been out for a couple weeks. Jeff Fu said it was awesome, and usually Jeff Fu, when he says something's awesome, as long as it's not some like weird Asian market thing, and usually Jeff Fu's pretty right about things that he says are good. Uh, this looks, I couldn't find a top by the way, which is really weird. I said, that sounds like a teenage girl going to prom. But uh, that's what it looks like. This looks like, uh, not even really green, it's uh, yellowish smush, it almost looks like pea slushy. But I have high hopes, I do love sour things, and I love Slurpees. So here we go, let's try it out. Fanta Sour Green Apple Sexual Pleasure Slurpee. Ooh, yeah, that's weird and good at the same time. It's not as sour as I would like it to be. It's it's actually pretty sweet. I like a little more of a sour kick to it. I think that would make it a lot better. One of the uh, custom drinks I get from Jamba Juice has like a lot of sour in it and oh, so good. Heavy on the raspberries, baby. This is still really good. It's just odd because it does have almost like I'd say 40% sour taste, 60% super overly sweet taste or too sweet. Huh? It's interesting. I almost think I would rather just go with like a traditional cherry slushy. I said traditional really well. I was like, I'd probably just go with cherry, in my opinion. More like raspberry or maybe even like the Sprite one that they had. Uh, yeah, it's good, but it's sorry. I'm actually, it's losing me. It's losing me as I take more sips. But yeah, yeah, no, it just got me back too. It was like, it's weird. There's pockets of sweet and pockets of sour. When I move the straw around, it's like a Russian roulette. I don't know which one I'm gonna get. Also subscribe to our gaming channel, Zion Mainframe Gaming. By clicking the annotation right there, it'll take you over to our Let's Play channel. Combined with our personalities, it's sexy as f Didn't expect me to get that excited about it, did you? It's good. It's actually, it is actually getting better. I'm, I'm thinking as it's melting down, it's not as sweet. Somehow it's getting more sour, which is winning me over. I still am not entirely sold on this one though. I, I was expecting just a hit of sour apple, and it's very, it's like sweet sour apple. It's like Larry Sweeney sour. I like it though enough. I would give it a low four. There just are other Slurpee flavors that I would much prefer over this one. But there you go guys, what are your thoughts on this? Have you tried it before at your local 7-Eleven? I have still not been able to try their brand new pizza that has been brand new for like two months. It's their extreme like sausage pizza. Every time I go in there, they never have it ready. And I've asked before and they're like, oh, we can make one for you. I don't want you to make a full f***ing pizza for me to do one slice. It's never ready. And I've gone to like five of them. There was one day where I was determined. I'm like, I'm going to get that damn pizza and do a review because I did the pepperoni pizza and it did really well. A lot of people enjoyed the review and a lot of people really wanted to see more stuff. So I was like, okay, I'll do the extreme sausage. They never have it, ever. Under any circumstances, I've never seen one 7-Eleven actually have that ready to go. They always just have pepperoni or cheese. And that's it. But hey, there you go. Just a little mini rant. Thank you for joining me for this edition of Carbs here on Reckless Eating. We'll see you on the next one. Reckless Eating! Reckless Eating!